The following video is not for children. This is a warning. Peggy 18. In this video, I will prove from multiple Islamic sources that Muslims have no power over their own anus. But I will prove that Satan has full control and power over the anus of the Muslim believers. Any Muslim should be scared, very scared, because Satan will sexually abuse you from behind. Here are some hadiths. In Majma' al-Zawaid wa Manba' al-Fawaid, volume 1 by Al-Haythami, on page 334, hadith number 1248, we can read, Rasulullah said to his companions, If Satan approaches one of you while you're praying, and Satan opened up your butthole, Wait, 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 wait. Satan can play with the anus of Muslims while they are praying? So, yeah, Muslimun, Satan has full control over your anus? Satan has the power and can control your anus while you're praying? Oh man, I'm so happy that I'm not a Muslim right now. Phew! On the next page, 335, in hadith number 1249, we can read, The Prophet said, when Satan comes to one of you while you're praying and pulls out a hair from your anus, then do not leave until you hear the sound or smell the fart coming from your anus. In other words, Satan is busy playing with your anus and has a field day with your anus. Whoa, my bad. Mother and on the same page in hadith number 1252, we can read, Shaitan approaches a Muslim during prayer and he tries to end it. And if anyone feels that Satan blows in his anus, then he should not leave until he smells his own fart or hears the sound of his fart. At-Tabarani narrated it, and all the men in the chain are trustworthy. And in another hadith by Abu Huraira, book Al-Badr al-Munir, volume 2, page 300, and the hadith is Sahih, we can read, Satan plays with the anus of the offspring of Adam. So it's important for any Muslim to say, O oh Allah, I seek refuge with you from the male and female devils when you enter the toilet, else Satan will play with your bowels. And listen to the ahadith, like you first, you know what the deen is about. The deen is about getting the shaitan away from you. So you know, you go into the toilet, you know, Bismillahi Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubuthi wal khabais. So oh Allah protect me from these devils. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. The dua you said, shaitan will not see you. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't say the dua, if you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tibbid says he plays with your bowels. He plays with your bowels. So you're inside there, you're thinking you're going to be out there in five minutes. He's taking you 20 minutes and you're still not halfway there. You know why? Because Uncle Shaitan is going, ooh, ooh, la la. <laughs> See, the hadith told us, the hadith says to us, he plays with your bowels. Yalla abu, yalla abu, he plays with the bowels. So you say the dua, Allah protects you. Yeah? Then get up and do the adhan or something. Then Shaitan will, I tell you, I'll be honest, hadith of Timmy, this says, it says, yeah? When you give the adhan, the Shaitan, he not only runs, but the hadith says lahu durat. You know what durat is? Durat is <laughs> He runs and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Lahu <laughs> durat. I'm not making this the hadith. So you that shaitan made me do sin? Ah, get up. Yeah, just get up. Just give the adhan. Right? That shaitan, you're gonna make him, you're gonna make him leak some serious gas serious gas he won't be coming near you for some time thanks for watching please share our videos on social media and stay away from islam